or a combination of magic and muscle. And what you get is muscle. Okay, welcome to another episode of Project Sage. Now for this episode, I'll be talking about my manga recommendations. Uh, I have six titles that I want to share to my viewers and to anybody else who's interested in new titles to read. Okay, these are manga that I enjoy and I feel like could use a little more readers for it because it's it's good. When it comes to manga, one has to know that these stories are marketed to different demographics. In classifying manga that way, you at least have four categories. Shonen for young boys, shoujo for young girls, there's seinen for readers older than shonen, and there's the general category targeted for mature readers. It usually depends on which magazines this series were serialized. But don't worry about it. Good stories break boundaries, and great stories transcend them. Since I'm an older reader, my, ta my tastes skew toward mature themes and adult protagonists. But I do enjoy a good shonen every now and then because laughter is the best medicine. And laughter has no age limit or age barrier. Okay, for my first recommendation, it should be a familiar title. For my regular viewers, it's an action comedy and it's titled Spy X Family. series set in a pastiche of Cold War era Berlin. Uh, a spy has to form a big family as part of his cover for his mission. What he doesn't know is that his wife is an assassin and her daughter is a psychic. I read this bi-weekly also on the Manga Plus app and I collect it in print because it's one of my favorite series. Talk about the Manga Plus app, right? This is it. This is, this is it. This is the Manga Plus app. You can see my series here, Spy X Family. It's a free app and it's legit because it's actually run by the publisher, Suisha. Suisha being the original Japanese publisher. They uh, update this series uh, bi-weekly or every two weeks and that's where I get my updates. But of course you can only read the latest chapters like the first three latest chapters and the last three latest chapters also. So I usually go for the print to keep myself updated on it and that's Spy X Family. My second recommendation it's a shonen title, so meaning it was originally targeted for younger bo uh, younger readers. And it's a title named uh, Apartment 2, or a combination of magic and muscle. And what you get is muscle. <laughs> Think One Punch Man in Hogwarts. Uh, once you get your head around that concept, you have Marshall. It also helps that the main character, conveniently named Mash, is a likable character who's kind and has a weakness for cream puffs. I also read that in the Manga Plus app weekly and it would look like that this martial, magic and muscle. Good thing about it, it's 
free. Okay? One of the best apps available on iTunes. For my third title, it's a comedy uh, set in school. So, comedy school life with a hint of romance. The title is Hokkaido Gals Are Super Adorable. Hokkaido Kitamishi. Set in a Hokkaido, it's an author's love letter to his home island. It's about a transfer student making new friends in his new school, and it helps that Hokkaido girls are really adorable. It's a wholesome read with the right amount of feels. And did I say it's a romance? I also read this in a weekly app. That's the main protagonist there. That's Hokkaido girl gals are super adorable. Okay, so that's three titles so far. Okay, for my fourth title, is this is an isekai, and an isekai is a genre that is popular right now. It's about being reincarnated or transported into another world with your memories and skills intact and along the way you obtain a new power or blessing to help you in your life because it's an adventurous life it's so popular that it's a running joke among manga and anime fans more often than not some of the better stories are overlooked because of this reputation however this should not stop you from crying out how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom. Now, this is a manga adaptation of a novel of the same name. It's about how a transported hero uses his knowledge of real world political theory and socioeconomics to rebuild the kingdom. It's in the title, really. As a history buff, it appeals to me how the main character applies real world knowledge in running and improving his country. Aside from that, he gets to navigate in diplomacy and politics in this alternate world because he also has to deal with this other countries that populate this alternate world. I read this in the comics, Comixology app and it's another one with a good manga selection. For my fifth title, it's a fantasy and the title is The Faraway Paladin. Now this is a bit of a cheat because this is another isekai that is an adaptation of another novel but it is more of a sword and sorcery feel of the fantasy that I'm familiar with. Think Lord of the Rings or David Eddings the Bilgariad. This one is pretty good. It touches on a myriad of emotions that add the best flavor to stories. It's about family, fate, and making the world a better place. I also read this in a comicsology app. My sixth and last title, but certainly not least, it's another comedy. I love my comedies. But this is more for mature readers, like 18 and above. Thankfully, most of my audience is 18 and above, or almost all of them. The title is Ten Puro. No one can live on loneliness, or an alternate title is Temple. It's about a college student who wants to overcome the stigma and legacy of having the world's greatest playboy as his father. If you think Luke Skywalker had issues, Luke Skywalker had nothing on this guy. So, in fearing a case of like father, like son, and in order to overcome his own desires of the flesh, he joins a temple with the sincere intention to be a monk, but finds out it's a temple for women. Sparks fly, of course, 
It's a comedy about misunderstanding intentions and situations and your stomach will ache from all the laughing. What's God? Laughing about it, thinking about it right now. It's a really funny title. Uh, I read it in a digital form on Bookwalker, the Bookwalker global store for digital books in manga. And it happens to be it's actually an ori- uh, exclusive release for that app. So you, that may be the only place you will be able to read the Eng- English version of the title. It's on Bookwalker. So there you have it. Six manga recommendations based on the manga that I read and collect on a regular basis. I have more manga reviews and recommendations in my Goodreads. So, I will add a link to that if you want to see more titles in my thoughts on them. Or if you have a Goodreads account, feel free to add me. Maybe we can exchange recommendations there. So, if you're watching this, I'm pretty sure you're a manga fan yourself. So, you may have your own picks. So... Share in the comments below your own picks. Tell me what to read or tell me what you love and would like to share for other readers. So I can check them out as well. So, thanks again for watching this video. This is another episode of Project Sage. If you like my video, share it, hit like, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's build the community of manga lovers together. Once again, thank you. See you again in the next episode. Oh, friends. Gentle reminder for you to participate in our giveaway. In fact, we are having one right now. And check the link video for the mechanics. Till then, see you in the next video.